try my best to get to Queens, uh, excuse me, the Queens Bridge bike lane. So, thanks for joining me today. I am on the Veteran Sherman. If you have any questions, please be sure to leave it in the comments section below. Be sure to gear up and be safe, my fellow riders, if you're out there listening. Thanks for liking, subscribing, sharing, and commenting on these videos. It is always much appreciated. check out a basketball but it was a woman's basketball 28.5 inch standard woman's size basketball and uh, I had to decline unfortunately I came all this way and no good no hard feelings though it's always nice to come out for a ride it's always nice to come out for a ride on a beautiful sunny day although I was really excited about and moving forward, fresh new basketball. What? Dripping on me from above, from that train.
If you're wondering about the light as far as bicycles and UCs are concerned, as far as Manhattan and New York City etiquette is concerned, I mean, lights give the light of way. And then if you confirm that it's safe, then you go. But uh, if you're in a car, you're going to want to obey the light either way, even if the coast is clear. There are just cameras and people and unexpected obstacles. I mean, that's, that's well known etiquette. If you're in a car, you are going by the light no matter what. But if you're on a bike or an EC or a scooter, you just want to make sure you don't get run over by a car. So you're going to give whoever has the right of way during the light, you're going to give them the respect of the road. In fact, I would even go, I would even venture to say, even if you don't have the light, I'm sorry, right? even if you do have the light, you're still going to give cars kind of the right of way. Make sure you don't get run over in case they don't see the light or or uh, not doing what they're supposed to be doing. You're still going to wait, even if you have the light. So it kind of goes both ways. It's not just a full uh, wild car that's going to be careful. You want to make sure that the coast is safe, the coast is clear, the road is safe before you proceed. If you are on but a mere bicycle, you do not want to argue about right of way with anyone, really. You just want to make sure you're safe. So, watch out for traffic lights, obey traffic laws, and if you're going to proceed when it's safe, just be sure to look both ways, look over your shoulder, make sure everything is clear before you proceed forward on your personal mobility vehicles or personal electric vehicles if they are electric. I know some people out there are riding non-electric bicycles, non-electric scooters, and even, yes, non-electric unicycles. So if that's you out there, big shout out and be careful. wasn't able to take that ball from you. I can see you were offended that I declared it to be a woman's ball, but listen, I checked the serial number. The ball felt small to me in my hands. Um, I'm going to have to follow my instinct 
follow my gut and not pay for a ball that I don't think is what I need. So, my apologies for the inconvenience there, fella, and thank you for your courtesy and your time. I do appreciate it. But uh, that ball is not for me. The leather felt really thin. Uh, I thought it was going to be a pretty good quality ball by Wilson. And the serial number is matched up with that of the woman's ball at 28.5 inches rather than the standard NBA size or men's ball size as they like to call it. I wonder if that's getting dated, calling it men's ball and women's ball. Maybe they'll have to start uh, coming up with some names that are more inclusive. But in any case, wasn't the ball for me. I took the journey and I'm coming back empty handed. But I'm not completely empty handed. I did have a great time having a ride to Queens and back. So let me know what you thought of that if you were able to join me. If so, if you liked it, just uh, hit that like button. Let me know that. Yeah, you might want to look at the bike lane before you jump out into the bike lane on your phone without looking. But hey, it's my responsibility to make sure I don't mow anyone down. So, if he doesn't want to look, he doesn't have to, but I've still got to look. But, for all you out there, please make sure you're safe and careful. Thank you for watching this video and learning safety precautions from it. Please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share if you haven't done so. Thank you, and have a wonderful day. Bye.